In this video, you will learn how to use Advanced Grade in Remark Office OMR. Use Advanced Grade to customize your grading process, including answer keys, learning objectives, question properties, scaled scores, test options, and test versions. Please note that we have a separate video showing learning objectives and multiple test versions in advanced grade. Begin in the data center with your data showing. Click the orange analysis tab. Then select Advanced Grade. You are then navigated to the first tab in the Advanced Grade window, Test Options. In the Answer Key File section, you can open an existing file that you have saved before that matches your form template. Browse for a file by clicking the ellipsis. Below, select Edit Grade Scale to view or change current grade scales. Here, you can change the source of the grade scale using the drop-down list. And also the minimum value of each letter grade in the form of a percentage and points. Click on a grid, then edit the percentage by entering a new number. Note that when you change the percentage, the point value changes as well, and vice versa. Click Save As to save this scale as the system grade scale. Once you have altered your grade scale, click OK. Then select Edit Scaled Score to alter your test scaled score. Scaled scores are an advanced feature and allow you to look up the score generated by Remark and replace it with a different score if your school uses a very specific scoring style. Note that most scores can be calculated by simply using the regular grade scales in the software. For this video, we will not be showing how to edit this scale. Optionally, choose Use a Test Benchmark to view student performance against a score you hope your students to achieve. Then set the benchmark based on the class average percent score. or create a custom one. Please note, if you create a custom benchmark, you will need to set a percentage for your students to achieve. To set custom headers, check the box for Use custom report headers. You can enter text into the header text box
and also select an option from the drop down list. You will see a preview of the header below. Then repeat this step to add a top center report header. and a top right report header. For this video, we will only be showing these three headers, but if you would like to customize the positioning of your header, select More Options. Click the Answer Key tab. From the drop down list, select how you want to import the answer key. Select Data Set Row to read the first row of data as your answer key. Select Read if you want to scan an answer key or browse for an image file of your answer key. A generic key can be applied to any form type that has the appropriate amount of questions and answer selections. A text key grades the questions and delimits the answer choices of a question based on numeric indices. To manually create the answer key, select an answer choice from the drop-down list, or enter the answer choices in the correct answer column. This is case sensitive, so be sure to use the correct letter case. For this video, we will be showing how to use data set row. Click import key. By default, the multiple choice questions are set to grade as objective based on the parameters defined in your form template. Optionally, click Save slash View to simply view a copy of your answer key as a CSV or text file. Click the Question Properties tab. Here, you can edit the test question properties defined in your form template. An orange dot indicates that the question is graded. Ungraded questions are in light gray. Select a question or hold down the shift key to select a range of questions to edit. The question text box is where you will see any text that was taken from your template settings. You can also add text to this section.
The checkbox for this question identifies the student can be used on ungraded questions to set a region as an identifier, such as a student name or ID number. Notice the Grade This Question checkbox is already marked, and the Grade Settings box is already filled out based on your template settings. Objective questions include multiple choice and true or false questions, whereas subjective questions are short answers, essays, or other handwritten questions. By default, each question is worth one point, and the correct answer has to be chosen to receive full credit. To award partial credit from an answer, mark the bubble to award only partial credit. Then define possible answer choices. For this video, we will be showing full credit. Please note that we have a separate video explaining partial credit in more detail. Below, define the number of correct, incorrect, and no response points. Then optionally, check the box to define a benchmark value and enter a percentage. This benchmark applies to only the selected question. To designate this question as extra credit, mark the checkbox. Note that you can also use advanced grade to set up learning objectives and multiple test versions. These topics are covered in detail in separate videos. Click Grade. You can then save your answer key to an easily accessible location so that you can reuse it in the future. You are then navigated to the Remark Quick Stats page containing your reports. By default, the student statistics report appears. Notice the information you inputted for the header appears below the report name. Then select various reports to view individual and class performance. You have successfully learned how to use advanced grade. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information. Thanks for watching.